In 1971, Daniel Ellsberg leaked the Pentagon Papers, which recorded the secret history of the Vietnam War, to the New York Times. Some still call it the greatest leak in U.S. history. My name's Ed Snowden. I'm uh, 29 years old. I'm Today, some are saying Edward Snowden's leak of national security documents to a British newspaper, The Guardian, is the greatest leak since the Ellsberg era. This is Sam Tannenhaus of The New York Times. Both these men maintain they were performing a public service, even as others label them traitors. Whether villains or saints, leakers often cast their actions as a kind of moral crusade. If you realize that that's the world that you helped create, and it's going to get worse with the next generation and the next generation who extend the capabilities of this sort of architecture of oppression, uh, you realize that you might be willing to accept any risk. And it doesn't matter what the outcome is, so long as the public gets to make their own decisions about how that's applied. With those defiant words, Mr. Snowden joins a long list of leakers, accused traitors who assume the proportion of grand actors in history, with other players in the drama also leaping to prominence, like the first-term congressman Richard Nixon. These documents were fed out of the State Department over 10 years ago. In the late 1930s, when Alger Hiss, a State Department official, relayed sensitive diplomatic cables to a Soviet agent, he believed he was serving a higher cause, the defeat of worldwide fascism. Relevant to the charge which you have publicized, that I am or have been a communist. Something else binds these men. Mr. Snowden is 29. Alger Hiss was in his early 30s when he began spying. Mr. Ellsberg was in his late 30s when he began to question the Vietnam War. Bradley Manning, the U.S. Army private who provided documents to WikiLeaks and was court-martialed for it, was 22 when he was arrested. Each traveled the path from youthful idealism to growing disillusionment with the country he served. And yet their actions often had unintended consequences. The revelations about his, made public in 1948, laid the groundwork for the McCarthy era with its communist hunts and loyalty oaths. Daniel Ellsberg's leaks helped plant the seeds of Watergate. And what about Mr. Snowden's? At the very least, they have increased anti-government feeling at a time when public trust has reached record lows.